I'm dead serious about this. It's like, sort yourself out. Sort yourself sort out yourself before out. you try to figure out the world. And yeah. that's, that's the primary objective. Yep. That's, your, that's your most important thing that you can do. Yep, sort absolutely. yourself out. Sort yourself out and, and marshal your arguments and put yourself in order so that when someone pushes you a little farther than you should go, you can say no. You can say no. When, when someone pushes you a little farther than you should go, you can say no. You can say no. Here's some fundamental rules about the shadow that you might think about as you move forward through your life. So a lot of times you're going to have to negotiate on your own behalf. You should be able to stand up for yourself at least as well as you would stand up for someone that you care for. The problem with the idea of being nice to other people is that it doesn't take you into account. The fundamental rule is that you should certainly include yourself in the circle of people who deserve respect and care. And that means that you have to be willing to advocate for yourself. And if you're willing to advocate for yourself and you want to do it, you have to be able to say no. You have to, because otherwise you have to say yes, and then you can't negotiate. You can say no. You can say no. When, when someone pushes you a little farther than you should go, you can say no. You can say no. And in order to say no, you have to have armed yourself with strategies and plans that enable you to say no. You can't be dependent. You have to be willing to stand your ground. There's not much evidence that sorts of atrocities that characterized the Soviet Union and Nazi Germany were the result of a few extremely corrupt people at the top of the hierarchy forcing everyone into slavery and then making them do terrible things. I think that's a very weak explanation. And when you look at human capacity for destructiveness, if you don't regard yourself as one of the agents of that destructiveness, or at least one of the potential agents, then from the union perspective at least, there's a high probability that you're part of the problem. You can say no. You can say no. pushes you a little farther than you should go, you can say no. You can say no. If you familiarize yourself with the realm of human capability, and then you regard yourself as human, what that means is that you have to regard yourself as a creature that's capable of what human beings are capable of. And human beings are capable of a lot of things. And some of them are absolutely wonderful. I mean, there's nothing more remarkable than a human being on the planet. People can do amazing things, but the downside of that is that we can do absolutely horrible things. And it's not obvious that it's only the pathological people who do that. In fact, it's, that it's not reasonable to assume that. You can say no. You can say no. When, when someone pushes you a little farther than you should go, you can say no. You can say no. New Age thinkers tell you things like follow your bliss and you'll you're on counter utopia, but that isn't what the unions, especially Jung, said about his process of individuation at all. He said that if you follow what's meaningful and you do it honestly, it will take you somewhere you really do not want to go. And until you go there, you'll never be able to climb up higher on the other side.
No. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. 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 Hell no. 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 I refuse.